Yeah, absolutely. And there's a, a bit of more uh, UFO news this week. We have a couple of big UFO stories this week. And, you know, a lot of these aren't like exactly sightings, but they have real uh, value in the UFO community because they go beyond just someone spotting a UFO this week. Uh, they speak to the research the devotion from some high-level individuals who were right at the heart of the UFO case. And this week, astronaut Edgar Mitchell uh, has been very outspoken about UFOs and his interest for that. He has come out and said that he, and he has claimed that the government is covering up uh, controver uh, extraterrestrial and UFO information. He is coming out and saying that he is going to explore the Billy Meyer UFO case. Jim, yeah. take it away. Yeah, the, the discussions are apparently underway for the first of its kind of a public forum featuring Dr. Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, and Michael Horn, who is the U.S. media representative for Billy Meyer. And those of you who are not familiar with Billy Meyer, he's uh, been around for a long time in UFO lore. He, he's an older man. We, we'll actually show a little bit of him here in a moment. And he says he's been in contact with aliens since 1942. Now, there are a lot of people out there like Stanton Friedman who take issue with him. They, they call him basically a fraud. Uh, but he has a, a lot of background and very well known many times on Coast to Coast, for example. Let's take a listen to a little bit of Billy Meyer's story. I learned very much on the one hand because of my parents and on the other hand because of an extraterrestrial called Svath whom I got to know in 1942. How old were you then? I was five years old. And this man, Svath, taught me very much of my school knowledge, besides many other things, just as Pastor Emanuel Zimmerman did. Then I confided in the pastor, and he told me I did not need to be afraid. When you look at the guy, Jim, and you see his long beard, and you think, oh, must be a kook, must be a kook. But Edgar Mitchell's argument here is that, look, he may be a kook. Um, and a lot of people call Edgar Mitchell a kook. Um, mm -hmm. He's an mm -hmm. astronaut. He's been there. You know, he has something in common with, uh, with Billy Meyer in that they've both been to the moon. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, as, as some as some have said, but jokingly, uh, but jokes aside, he is. Um, he says, "Look, it, it's worth discussing and looking at in a public forum. His stories. He has a lot of historical information. It's worth studying." Yeah, I, and I'm reading the story, and I want to be clear. I think it's not for sure that Dr. Mitchell is going to uh, be in this forum with Michael Horn, but it looks as though discussions are underway. There have been some good email exchanges between them, and, um, you know, there's some things that Meyer points out that uh, Mitchell, according to this Michael Horn, Mitchell has said, you know, uh, that uh, he's provided very accurate, scientifically corroborated uh, information about the death of a man over 5,100 years ago. So Mitchell is intrigued, so it looks like this may very well happen, and I guess we'll stay tuned to see what does. 